Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Feed the Beast Stone Block 3. A mud pack where instead of spawning in the middle of the sky like in Skyblock with nothing else around you and a single tree to your name, you spawn on the ground surrounded by stone and you need to survive. This is a brand new mod pack from Feed the Beast and I'm super excited to get started. So without any further ado, let's get right to it. If we quickly take a look at the quests here, we can click right here. Welcome to Feed the Beast Stone Block 3. This mod pack is placed entirely within an underground world with no surface. As you travel further from your spawn point, you will come across dungeons, caves and eventually a ring of nether and end just like this. And this is the spawn area. I can't actually break stuff here. I can just walk around, take a look. The spawn is looking absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at this place. It is looking awesome. However, this is not where we're meant to stay. Like I said, we can't break anything. We can't do anything. We need to head to the portal. So to the portal we shall go. All right, here we go. Entering the portal. Yay. Yeah, and here we go, here we can select what cave we want to start our adventure in. We got quite a few options, we got the original, we got cave, we got the drippy cave, lost house, lost mineshaft, mineshaft intersection, and mineshaft intersection right there. Now I'm actually not quite sure which one I want to go for, so I don't think I want to choose this one right here as we got these other fancy ones which I think look amazing. I do want there to be some light so we can actually see what we're doing. So something like this and maybe even like this might be a little bit too dark. And so I guess it's between these two right here. Lushed house or lushed mineshaft intersection. All right, I have decided I'm gonna go with the lushed house. It's gonna be nice to have some greenery, especially since we're in Minecraft 1.18. It would be kind of sad not to have a surrounding with all the moss and like the lush stuff. So here we go, lushed house. Let's see what we get. Let's, ooh, wow. Okay, this, this place is pretty. No regrets, no regrets. I'm gonna get rid of the tall grass though. But other than that, no regrets, and we get a hobbit hole. I mean, who doesn't want a... Oh wow, it's decorated. <laughs> it's actually decorated. Wow, I didn't think it would be this decorated. Okay. Oh, and free storage right off the bat. Also a food source with the glowberries. Th this is a great start right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is a good start. Okay, this is awesome. Now if we go ahead and check out the uh, quest book again here, we can go into getting started and this right here is going to help us through the early game at the very least and more will unlock as we progress. And yeah, this is kind of just going to help us steer us in the right direction. But first thing first that we need to do is normally in Minecraft, you know, you go up to a tree and you start punching it, right? Well, this is a stone block. Yeah. We punch stone. <laughs> <laughs> this is our wood, at least for the time being anyway. Uh, yeah, we need to do this for a little bit and um, Yeah, we, we basically need this to, to make cobblestone because in here we can do like so and we can get cobblestone And if we go into the quests, we can get a random reward. Re I just did I get a railgun? I got a railgun. <laughs> I don't have any power to power this thing. But I got a rail gun. Also, we have a massive engineering in the pack. That's awesome. All right, with this amount of stone pebbles, I can now go ahead and make a crafting table, a stone crafting table. However, it does it does sound like wood. But anyway, we're gonna ignore that, and I'm gonna keep punching because I need even more cobblestone. <laughs> Good news, ladies and gentlemen, we can now make a stone hammer, which basically acts like well, as you would expect, it takes first of all, it's much faster than mining this with your bare hands, which is I, I really appreciate this. Um, but also, it turns the stone into cobblestone. But not only that, if we go ahead and take this cobblestone, we can go ahead and convert it into a compressed cobblestone, and then we can mine this, and it's going to turn it into gravel. And we can continue this process for quite a while or I should say one more time and we will get dirt. Because now what we can do is if I go ahead and make some more stone rods, just like so, we can go ahead and make a stone crook. And if I then go to the center-ish of this place, 
know what? This place is going to work just fine. This place right here. Yep. There we go. Perfect. We can then do this and we can get saplings. And source berries, apparently. And we can actually get quite a few different variety of saplings from this. Some I don't even know what it is. Cascading archwood sapling, fluorescing. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of different ones. The main one, though, I think I want is either maybe spruce or oak or something like that. So I'm gonna. Uh, we do have birch, though. Hmm. Well, I need some more um, dirt anyway to, to actually grow the trees on because I kind of. Uh, yeah all of it out but yeah this is now a much quicker process and yes we do have rain miner in case you were wondering which is really awesome makes this kind of work much faster especially this kind of work also a lot more satisfying but there we go we got an oak sapling oh we also got a spruce one now yeah I'm gonna go with the spruce one well, I can I can twerk the, the things there that's awesome However, they might be in the way for the tree to grow. What if I, yeah, you know what I may, hmm, yeah, I, hmm, hmm, hmm. This is sad times. I'm gonna have to relocate. I don't know why, but this tree simply refuses to grow. Oh, oh, you can grow, but not the big spruce tree. Okay, I see how it is. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, with this nice amount of wood, we can now go ahead and we can make sticks. So now we can actually go ahead and make normal stone tools, such as an axe for chopping down said tree that wanted to grow, but then it didn't grow the way I wanted it to when I wanted to out of trees. Damn. Grow. Now we can go ahead and make a furnace and then use, use this furnace to of course go ahead and get some charcoal made so we can actually start lighting these uh, tunnels up but I also realized I want to actually be digging in that direction instead towards north because if we take a look at the map here we can see we got some structures up here which are looking really interesting and as you can see it's going to take me quite a while to get there so I definitely want to be heading in that direction whenever I'm just casually mining we of course also oh wow we got a bunch of stuff here to collect Got a bunch of cool stuff, random stuff to get as well. We'll take a look at it all in a moment. Oh, we got a bunch of seeds from that. I got a Paxel. I think my inventory is full. Oh, I can choose uh, different types of wood here. Since we went with an oak tree anyway, I'm going to go with oak. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a lot. Um, what's this thing? I'm confused. Oh! You know what? That's kind of cool. And I can pick it up again. Nice! I think for now, though, a bunch of this stuff that I don't need to write off. I got an anvil. And a golden paxel. Okay, this... That's not a... You know what? That's not a bad start. I'm not gonna complain. That's... Not a bad start. When did I get... When did I get? I didn't get anesite. I think I need. I do need to get anesite though. Oh, wait a minute. Did I have? Where? I'm so confused. Oh, anesite gets turned into cobblestone. Oh, okay. I needed a stone pickaxe in order to pick it up. Oops. No one is gonna know. It's fine. There we go. Got that quest done. As well. Oh, no rewards for it. Okay, you can go back. Now, this is where things are going to get interesting because if we take a look at the tech tree here, it is currently leading us in two directions. One towards Tigger's Construct, which we definitely want to get into eventually. However, the most important thing for us right now is going to be setting up a sieve so we can get resources such as iron, gold, etc. Um, and to do that, we actually are using Create. And so the next thing that we need to do is basically make a millstone together with a hand crank and a cogwheel. And so we can set this up and that is basically going to be functioning as our sieve or 
I don't. Is this gonna sail or crush? Sail or crush? I would think crush. Yes, crush. But this setup in general is going to be how we're going to be generating resources. So that is something that we need to prepare for right away. We need to make a millstone, which I can bookmark like so. We need to make a hand crank, a cogwheel. And I think that is why we had the quest of getting andesite because, yeah, that's what we need to do. Propeller as well in order to make an, uh, a fan here, which we can use to then wash ores and a crushing wheel to crush even more stuff. But let's start off with that right there. So to make the millstone, we're going to be needing some planks and polished andesite as well as a car wheel and that is even more andesite and some buttons. So not impossible. I just need to hit a vein of andesite, I suppose. And I just looked, it says right here, actually, if you mine either up or down far enough, you'll reach a layer of andesite. Beyond that is deep slate and only then is there bedrock. So I think this over here is going to be a staircase leading down and I got some torches here. So I'm just going to keep going. That's that's a hammer. I'm just going to keep going down and hopefully we'll reach and decide fairly soon. Finally, we're at Y level minus 54 and we're finally here. So I'm going to have to go ahead. I can make a normal crafting table. That's interesting. All right. I will not complain though. Yeah, I'm going to have to my stone pickaxe broke. So I'm going to have to go ahead and place a crafting table down, get some sticks and then you know what? I'm going to make two stone pickaxes. I have a feeling I'm going to need them anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get a bunch of andesite here and then we're going to head back up and get started with create setting up some machinery. Oh, and by the way, a tip. Yeah, you, you can make mine, the, the andesite. <laughs> that makes this job go just that much faster. You know, that's that's nice. That is always nice and always Welcome. Now I just got to climb this. I'll see you at the top. I just came up the hole and I picked up a stick. And I got the message here to stick. Hard. It wants to... Sp <laughs> oh, I can... Pl what? You can place... Okay. All right, I think I'm ready to make this thing. Not enough. Oh yeah, we need to make, of course, some polished andesite, which we now got. So I can go ahead and make two cock wheels and I can make a hand crank. And with that, I can go ahead and make a millstone. So if I'm setting this up, so I haven't really played, actually haven't played at all with um, create, but I'm pretty sure I understand how it works. And it basically all works like this. Not R, not FE, not RF, nothing like that. Just, is it called talk? Pardon me, wants to say talk. Anyway, I think I can go ahead and make a chest. That's a furnace. That's not what I wanted to do. Can I make a, a stone chest? Come so. Oh, and then I need to. Oh, okay. You know what? That's actually. I feel like that's kind of cheap. I'm not going to complain. That's pretty cool. So if I place that there and I place like, let's say 32 cobblestone in there. That just it doesn't just go in. Okay, good to know. Do I then right click it on there? Nope, definitely not. So what I've understood with create is you do a lot of this kind of thing where the items are in. Yeah, no, I'm doing this completely wrong. Interesting. Apparently it doesn't accept cobblestone, but if I give it gravel, that goes right in. And I can go ahead and grind this up. I don't know when the indicator is going to turn that it is done grinding. I guess if it doesn't show any more gravel particles. Maybe. I mean, this is, I would assume this is a slow process. No, there we go. I just right click. And I got raw sink, sand and raw iron. Okay. This is good news. So I just put more gravel in and I don't know how long it actually has to sit here. I mean, it's, it, it's kind of a nice rhythm, you know. <laughs> Workout session. <laughs> That's amazing. Ow. Oh dear. I'm, I'm starving. What, what do I have? 
Why am I not? I'm not getting it. Uh, I'm, I'm confused. Oh, I am getting stuff. It just doesn't say plop like everything else. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put you in there. Um, please, someone have berries for me. Yes, thank you. Okay. Yeah, this this takes work. The cool thing is, though, I can just sit here and basically do this. Farm these berries. I will not complain. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this room, actually. Ah, interesting. So the reason why we want to get into uh, washing here is because we can actually wash sand, which is then going to give us stuff like gold, copper, sulfur, silver, nickel, clay, etc. And I think we can wash dust as well if we go ahead and get the right kind of dust. Yep, I think this is the one. Yeah, we can wash it and then we can get surface quartz uh, dust, redstone, skystone and bone meal. Okay. I am going to need to have a little bit of a plan how I'm going to set this up. I am going to need this string. Okay, so I kind of have a plan. Right now I'm making a cauldron because if I place that there, I can fill it up with leaves essentially and I can go ahead and get myself an awesome water bucket. I also uh, <laughs> most definitely need to clean up my inventory because this is a mess. Okay, next I can go ahead and make this thing, which I can use to make lava. I think this is going to take a very long time. I don't know how long it's going to take, but what? Oh, oh, it actually didn't. Okay, better not burn stuff. Basically, what I want to make is a cobblestone generator, this thing right here, which means we can basically auto generate a uh, stone or cobblestone. Yeah, cobblestone right here. Which we can then further in the future with a crusher and whatnot, which is not too far off. We can go ahead and automate the production of gravel, automate the production of this thing, and then washing and stuff like that. Next up, though, I do want to set up a water wheel so this thing is actually automated. And I think... Minus... Uh, minus 1. And minus 21. Minus 21, that's right. Like, right over here, right? Did it say the Y level? At 17. I, I can get that, maybe, potentially. I see it on the map. Oh, I see it right there. I see it. I hope it doesn't despawn. I don't know what I need to do when I see it, when I find it or get to it, though. The uh, panic. Here we are. I got a bunch of stuff. Not sure what I got, though. Uh, a mystical cyan flower, some eggs, and a copper ingot. That does seem to be it, though. Ow. Anyway, now I can pick up this lava. And now I just need to get six one compressed stone, which means I need to smelt quite a lot of cobblestone. Uh, well, I'm happy that I have the charcoal for it. All right, I now have everything to me. I need glass. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. And I'll have everything to make the cobblestone generator tier one. I am gonna place this somewhere. You know what? I should probably expand this room a little bit because it's a little bit crowded. All right, gonna place this here. And I think I can put this on top. And boom, automated cobblestone generation has been completed. In the meantime, I have been busy making a water wheel. And it's actually not as big as I thought. So I think that if I place it right there, that that then means I'll be able to make a passageway in this direction-ish, which will then eventually lead over to this thing. Um, but yeah, if I basically just put it here, then place water, how do I get water again? <laughs> do this. You know what, we should probably make an infinite water source. How about that? That is probably a smart thing to do. There we go, perfect. Because I think if I then, hmm, I should probably make it look a little bit nicer. So if I go ahead and do something like this, uh, yes, and then of course fill this in. Maybe if I do this, yeah, that's not too bad. I think if I place water up here. I think that's working. However, I don't know if there should be a block like here. 
Yes. Okay, perfect. So that means I can block that off. So we are generating talk. I'm pretty sure it's called that. You guys will have to <laughs> correct me double if, uh, in the comments because I, I think I might be wrong on that one. But anyway, I can go over here. I can get rid of this hand crank. And I think if I just dig in this direction. Ah, there it is. I think I can just break this. Connect this. Lead it all the way over. And then my brain needs to work. Right, if I place this there, strip it, do this, and then I make some buttons. I make four cogwheels, and then I can make a gearbox, which I think I can place here. And then connect. That is most definitely not gonna work. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I managed to do it. Actually, there's one step here that we actually don't need. We can go ahead and lead this one over and place this like so. Is it going the right way? Let's find out. Do I have any gravel laying about? I do not. Uh, <laughs> let me make some gravel real quick. Let's see. Yes. Yes, it's working. Ah. That took too long for me to figure out. <laughs> it is working. I do wonder, how, however, if I'm able to extract stuff using a hopper and then into a chest. Because that would be kind of cool. Now, I do know that this is not optimal. I can optimize this a whole lot better, but it's enough to get us started. I'm happy. Keep in mind, I have never touched the create mod. So the fact that I'm even able to just make this is, well, <laughs> quite amazing. I'll do more research off camera, of course. However, if this is doable, this would be... Yes, it is awesome. I'm so happy. Look at this. Things are being generated very, very nicely. I made it faster. By place, basically placing a large cogwheel onto the water mill and then a small one leading all over. It, I know, I, you probably know this basic stuff, but I think anyway that this is faster than before, which makes me happy. So I'm moving on to making this encased fan so we can actually start using some of the sand, also the sand that we're being uh, getting, getting from this process here. Uh, but in order to do that, I need to make some iron sheets, and for that I need to make this engineer's hammer, which is why I got that string earlier. So if I go ahead and do this engineer's hammer, boom, I should now be able to take some iron, put it in here, and boom, get some iron sheets. Pretty cool. And so now I should have everything I need in order to... Hold on. Make this in case fan. Boom! Would you look at that? Oh, that was quick, right? So I think I just put it here. Oh, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. That that won't work. <laughs> there we go. It should. Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. This thing is going the wrong way around. But with a little bit of engineering, I think. No. Isn't that? That's that's turning the other way, though. I need it to turn that way. But when I get it down, it turns the other way. Hmm. You know what? This ain't gonna be super pretty. However, it is going to be functional. At least until I get the first amount of redstone so I can actually make a gear shift. But for now, I think... This is gonna work. Maybe I go ahead and spruce this place up a little bit, you know? Decorate it a bit. Kinda like that. And I just wait, I guess. In the meantime, I can go ahead and build a tower of compressed cobblestone. 
and hammer it all down. How much gravel is that? One and a half, two, two sacks, three sacks basically. Pretty good. We're making pretty. Oh, one sack at a time. You know what? That's. I wonder if a hopper can go onto that. Oh boy. I'm not gonna worry about that now. That's a problem for later me. <laughs> not current me. Oh, and there we go. Look at that. We got copper, gold, fluorite, clay, sulfur, and raw silver, as well as raw nickel. That is awesome. And so I can basically take the sand from here. A boop. Put. No. Why? Why didn't I think that far? Just put a. I'm not, I'm not gonna ask questions. Ask questions? I should be asking questions. <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm actually happy that Crusher didn't take all the gravel because now I can basically take all this compressed gravel and I can turn it into dirt, which I can then turn into sand, which I can then turn into dust, which means I can hopefully get a little bit of redstone going. And getting dust. There we go. A stack of dust. Boom. And hopefully that's going to go pretty well. You know, this place, I'd say, is coming along quite nicely. That's not what I wanted to make. There we go. That's better. I see redstone. Beautiful. Okay, you know what? This system... I'm actually pretty happy with it. So let's see what's the, the stuff in the quest right here. Pedal? Okay, that's cool. Uh, crushing wheel. We also got the dust, of course, which gives us a little bit more dust. And we need to wash some more resources. Um, but crushing wheel. Basically, when two crushing wheels rotate into each other, they crush what passes through. That means I could technically have a cobble generator, tier 1, drop cobblestone into a crusher, which then drops it into the millstone, which then leads it out through some sort of conveyor belt all the way over to this place, and then gets picked up by a hopper. That would be the ideal solution anyway, or ideal situation, I should say. So I've been just looking at things, and apparently in order to make a crushing wheel, first of all, the kinetic stress impact is high, so I would probably need more than just this. Um, but in order to make it, I apparently need to make it in mechanical crafting, uh, using these things right here, which I assume, yeah, you just place them in an array of, well, this, connect them, or what goes where and whatnot, and then you basically make it work. Okay, that's way more advanced. But that's basically how you make that happen. Um, I need 21 of these. And... Polished? Wow. Yeah, that's how you make that happen. So I looked into the pulverizer, which requires tin. And in order to get tin, wait for it, raw tin, we need to crush gravel. However, we also have immersive engineering as well as mechanism and in order to make a crusher from mechanism we need lava uh hold on so we need steel casing we need osmium and in order to get osmium i'm pretty sure we need to yep we need to crush <laughs> and to get the crusher from immersive engineering we would need a bunch of other blocks so it looks like the crusher the this setup right here is what we need to be working towards next also, I like how I just automatically made this my home and not the beautiful house that is literally next to me. <laughs> oh boy, I need to move in somehow. I just learned something as well, that you can actually take gravel and that too, you can put through the washing thing. I'm pretty sure. I think it's working because in here, gravel should give us this kind of stuff. I think anyway. I'm just kind of waiting for that to finish. Aha, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, we got diamonds? Okay, if I had known that, I would have done this a whole lot sooner. Wow. Okay, then. I mean, that... That's that. <laughs> no. What's this? Oh. Yes. 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 What, what, el what else did I need for that? What else did I... Another stick. Why do I keep getting sticks? The stickiest of sticky sticks. Got it. Got it. Yeah, how... I, I definitely want that. 
that should be walled off certain pesky intruders within a reasonable area. Right click with wool to toggle silent mode. Yes. And I got a crafter tier one as well. Hmm. Oh yeah, I also got this advanced item collector. <laughs> That's awesome. And these laser notes, just casually, you know. But guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here. I could go on forever and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do planning and researching and the next episode hopefully is going to come, uh, well, right at you very, very soon, hopefully. I just need to do some planning and figuring some stuff out. But yeah, so far I'm really happy with this progress and I'm having a ton of fun with this pack. Um, before we go, though, I do want to quickly go through... Oh. Okay, that's interesting. Um, but speaking of which, I do quickly want to go through some of the things right here. Because as you can see, we have unlocked exploration here, which is this stuff right here. Stone layers, the nether, the end, reach the end ring, reach the nether ring. We got visit a stone dungeon, visit a spawner dungeon, nether dungeon, end city. That's going to be cool. In storage. Ooh. Public storages. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, in storage, we got things like uh, functional storage. We got uh, stuff from refined storage and applied logistics for storage solutions. That's going to be sick. Really excited for that. We got some stuff in miscellaneous. We got construction ones, mining gadgets, building gadgets, all sorts of very cool stuff. What is that? That sounds so creepy. But anyways, inside where it's a little bit nicer. We also got Feral Flare Lantern. Cool stuff. Resources. We got passive resources. Some mob grinding utils so we can set up a mob farm. That's going to be really cool. Of course, we got create here. Immersive engineering, industrial foregoing, mechanism, power, RF tools, thermal series. And in magic, we got Arsenalu, block magic, botania, project E. Uh, I can't even pronounce that, but you, you got it. The ultimate armor. It's going to be a blast. So, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're brand new, enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. I'm really enjoying this. I'm pumped for it. And I hope you are too. But, yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. In the meantime, I am going to go ahead and yeah, make a bunch, get a bunch of resources, basically, and uh, get prepared for the next episode. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.